Most Wanted Monday for a long time now. If you haven't been watching Dumb Marvel Life since the beginning, how about we recap for you? It's a collaborative effort to help, to help our local law enforcement get the guys and gals they're looking for back into custody. You could say to face the music, but here's an aspect that we want to emphasize. You can help too. Here's why it's a win-win. Not only are you helping to fight crime, but your watchful eye really could mean cash in your pocket as well. By now, you recognize this man, Lieutenant Tim Robinson with the Wicomico County Sheriff's Office. Glad to have you back, sir. It's great to be here. And one thing I want to add, since its inception in 1987 here locally, Crime Solvers has paid out now well over $100,000 in cash wow. to, to recipients here in this area. So there's money to be made. There's for money to be made. Tips. So. Before we get to you've got a capture on it. We want to talk yes. about that. We want to talk about your, uh, the ones you're looking for, too. This is a big week here on Del Mar. Yeah, yes, it is. It's a big week for the whole you know, region because it's uh, Del Mar Bike Week. It's right. an event that's came that started here several. It's been going on in Ocean City. But it's expanded out to Salisbury at Winter Place Park. And it's going to be a lot of traffic yep. and a lot of motorcycles. Uh, a lot of people are coming to this area. It's good for the local area. It's good for the local you know, economy, obviously. But I just want to remind your viewers that starting on Thursday and going through Sunday, there's going to be a lot of extra motorcycles right. on the road coming to visit both Salisbury and Ocean City and passing back and forth between the two. Probably some here earlier than that as well. Yes. So just keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes open. And, and, and some of these motorcycles, you may hear them before you see them. Yeah. There <laughs> you <laughs> go. Okay. So. You got a capture. Yes, we do. Uh, Megan Lynn Tyndall. Megan Tyndall was picked up this week. So, you know, I love it. It works. <laughs> <laughs> so I love it when, it's, when we can this say we profiled somebody mm -hmm. and we've now got him picked up. Got to picked him so. up. Okay, so you've got six fresh yes. faces for us today. Well, they're not all fresh. Oh. Five of them are fresh. Okay. One of them um, that we're going to be profiling, which I believe is the first one. Yeah. And I'll talk about that when we get up there. Okay. To him. All right. Michael Anthony yes. Beckett. Yes, yeah, so Michael Beckett. He's the one. Okay. Yeah, he's the one. We've profiled him before, and we've been getting tips on him. So, Mr. Beckett, if you're watching, we're getting tips on where you live in Snow Hill. So, we just have not caught up with you. So, if you are watching and you do feel the urge to turn yourself in, we strongly suggest that. If not, we are going to be catching up with you sooner or later. Uh, he is wanted for uh, theft and failure to do a contract. So, anybody who lives down the Snow Hill area, take a good look at Mr. Beckett. We, we know he lives down in that area, so please keep those tips coming. Give you the phone, the phone number here in just a second for where to call. All right, Sean Marion Hamilton. Sean Hamilton, for your viewers um, out in the Parsonsburg area, he is wanted on a bench warrant that was issued when he failed to show up for a DUI case. So if anybody knows where Mr. Hamilton is, please call Crime, crime Solvers right away. All righty, Parrish LeVon Mack. Parrish Mack. Uh, we know he has ties to this area. We also know he has an address in Baltimore. But we know somebody down here probably knows uh, Mr. Mack because of his ties to this area. He's also known to use the name of Tony Morrison. Now, he is wanted on a bench warrant that was issued after he violated the terms of his probation in a case where he had been already been convicted of felony theft. So if anybody knows where Mr. Mack is, please contact Crime Solvers. This is one of those moments I think I've seen him before. Yes. Xavier Felix Perez. Xavier Perez, uh, for your viewers up in the Seaford area, he is wanted on a bench warrant that was issued uh, when he violated the terms of his probation in a theft case. And we will bring him back from Delaware if any of the Seaford area viewers call us and call Crime Solvers and give us an address in Seaford or anywhere nearby there. We can go pick him up there. So please get those phone calls coming in where Mr. Perez is. Anonymous call. Nobody knows your name. Here is Ryan Scott Reese. Ryan Scott Reese. Uh, he is last known to be living in the Delmar, Delaware area. He is wanted in uh, connection with a bench warrant that was issued in a trespassing case. Again, he lives right across the state line in Delaware, but we have no problem bringing him back. It's not an issue. So please call Crime Solvers right away if you know where Ryan Reese is. Happy to give him a ride. We're going to bring him right back to Salisbury. <laughs> okay, last but not least, here is Jermaine Valdez-Smith. Jermaine Smith, uh, for your viewers out in the Mardello Springs area, uh, that's where we last know him to live. He is wanted on a bench warrant that was issued after he violated the terms of his probation in a case where he had been convicted of assault and several other charges. 
So if you know where Mr. Smith is, please contact Crime Solvers right away. Now we can get another look at these pictures on social media. Yes, they're going to be on the Sheriff's Office Facebook page. They will also be on the Facebook page of Crime Solvers of the Lower Eastern Shore. But the one thing uh, I want to mention, and, and both the folks that run both those Facebook pages tell mm -hmm. me that occasionally they do get tips right. through Facebook, but neither one of those pages are monitored 24 hours a day, nor are they set up to get you the reward money. So if you're, well, they'll take information that way, but if you're really interested in getting a reward, call that number. It's 410-548-1776. They're not going to ask your name. We never know your name. It's guaranteed anonymity. So if you're their friend, their neighbor, their brother, their cousin, and, and you want to make sure that you know justice is served, right. please call that number. And who's going to turn down a little extra cash? A little extra cash. <laughs> Lieutenant Robinson, right. thank you so much for coming in today. Right. Now remember, if you want to read more about the men and women featured on today's Most Wanted Monday, all you have to do is go to DelmarvaLife.com.